The last two Americans held by North Korea, Kenneth Bay and Matthew Miller, are home this morning, arriving at a military air base in Washington state. More from Margaret Brenner. Americans Kenneth Bay and Matthew Miller are free. Director of National Intelligence James Clapper secured their release in a secret mission to North Korea. Clapper is the highest-ranking U.S. official to visit that country in 14 years, and the first since its young leader Kim Jong-un took power in 2011. The 46-year-old Bay, a Christian missionary, had served two years of hard labor for alleged anti-government activities, making him the longest-held American prisoner since the Korean War. Um, prison life is eight hours of work per day. Miller, just 25, was imprisoned for seven months, charged with spying after tearing up his visa and demanding asylum. U.S. officials say that nothing was given in exchange for the release of the two Americans. But Clapper did spend some time discussing North Korea's nuclear program. The surprise release came just a day before President Obama arrives in China. For Sunday morning, this is Margaret Brennan in Washington.